Hey, you know what time it is. We're gonna be starting up our Kanto Gym Leader thrashing. Our Gym Leader Rush, as it were. A boss rush of sorts in Pokemon Crystal. Uh, we're gonna go through them in order from Pewter Gym all the way up to Meridian City. I'm the Black Belt Barber. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you like and favorite this video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Enjoy it all. I'll provide more content like this as long as I keep getting more subscribers. So anyways, let's go ahead and start off by switching up our Pokemon. Gonna put, not Wind Sign, we're gonna put someone to the beginning of the pack here. And I wanna try and do all these without actually hitting a Pokemon Center, if that's at all possible. So, starting off with this guy. The trainers of this gym use Rock-type Pokemon. The Rock-type has high defense. Battles could end up going a long time. Are you ready for this? Oh, long time, you think. Good, good for you. <laughs> Camper Jerry wants to battle. Alright, it's gonna be a simple waterfall and I'll take down Sand Slash. Should be a simple waterfall. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And that's it. Okay, cool. I have to win these battles. <laughs> what do you think? Hey, you! Trainer from Johto, Brock is tough. He'll punish you if you don't take him seriously. Oh, ho, 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 but here we go. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert on Rock-type Pokémon. My Pokémon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on! And the epic Kanto gym leader music. I love it. Oh, there he is in his nice white shirt. All right, Brock. <laughs> Brock, apparently you rock, but we're gonna rock you hard. I think the only time we're actually gonna have to use the um, Pokemon Center is gonna be before uh, Blue in Viridian City because he's notoriously difficult. I think his Pokemon levels are gonna outrank mine by a good margin. Kabutops. Oh, we gotta switch for that. Gotta go to Meow Meow. Should be more than enough to handle Copy Tops. I think this thing might know Earthquake, though, so that could be a bit of a challenge if it's faster than us. Which is a high probability. Meow Meow is not... not well, there we go, we're faster. I was gonna say, Meow Meow is not nearly the fastest. And down goes Copy Tops. One shot. Beautiful. Rhyhorn. Well, looks like we're going back to someone. Spanky, you are the fastest, but we'll save you for a couple of other gyms, not for Brock. <laughs> How are you tonight, by the way, Spanky? Another waterfall should handle this one. But yeah, I do believe you are the fastest out of our entire team, except for maybe Tomozaki. You doing better now? Perfect, I'm happy you're doing better now. Hey, did you ever get to go and uh, talk to the PC guys about your setup? Omastar. Whoa. That's another one for Meow Meow right there. Increase the volume of the game there just a little bit for you. Because this music is worth listening to. Okay. And boom. Down they go. Easy enough. Who's next? Who's the last one? Onyx, aww. It's so weak. The only thing, like, Onyx is a decent Pokemon. The things it's got going for it are awesome defense and awesome speed for a rock type, but other than that, it's got nothing. Like, its attack stat is terrible, its special defense is atrocious. Noe joined a group that had game nights on Friday, and one of them offered to help me tomorrow at his house and said, beautiful! Rock Gyarados, that's right. I forgot we were calling it Rock Gyarados. Well, that's cool. Got somebody who's gonna help you out. That's nice. Better than paying somebody. Leader Brock was defeated. Your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock-hard defense. Yeah, so that works out for me. Good. Good. I'm glad it works for you. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead. Take this badge. There's the Boulder Badge. Shoulder the Boulder Badge. Only have to buy them all pizza and beer. 
I'd say that's worth it. I enjoyed battling you, even though I am a bit upset. Cheaper than 100 per hour? That's how much they were gonna charge you? Oh, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> that boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Just guessing, eh, it's, you know, 75 an hour is probably what I would expect. Hey, someone, what's up? Welcome to the stream. They were going to overcharge you? That sounds about right. Yeah, computer guys tend to do that, and <laughs> I know when I used to uh, work computer, like, tech repair, that kind of stuff, I actually used to do house calls for people, and I would wind up um, charging way over what somebody should be paying. That's because I had to drive to them. Let's just finish watching a whole season of an anime that just released today. Ooh, what anime was it? Since Misty was away, I went out for some fun, too. Hehehe. <laughs> ah, creepy dude. Okay. This is gonna be a gym for Meow Meow. <laughs> was it Pokemon? <laughs> Glove. I'm first. Come and get me. Okay, sir. We'll come and get you. Sewer Parker wants to battle. Send out Horsey. Ah, oh, this will be easy. Watch all 11 episodes of Season 2 Dub. Season 2 Dub was added earlier today. Okay. You binged it. Nice. Nice. I have a hard time sitting there and binging an entire season of something anymore. Yeah, 11 episodes isn't really that bad. Same thing for this first season. Nice. I, I have a hard time binging things like that anymore because once I'm done, then I have to wait for the next season to come out, and it's just it's painful for me. Cedra. Yeah, watching all the episodes in one day, that ain't hard. For an 11-episode se uh, season, that's not bad at all. So let's see, 244 minutes at maximum. That's, uh, four hours. That's not bad. Alright, who's the next one? Horsey again. Oh boy. I have a plan so we don't have to fight all the trainers in this gym. It's like watching two movies. Exactly! Yeah, it's not that bad at all. Started at 3 p.m., stopped at 10 p.m. Cool. Take a break to eat in the middle, or did you just grab something quick and then go back to watching? Because that's what I would do. Super Parker was defeated. This can't be. Alright, so here's my plan. I'm just gonna walk around the outside. Just took a break. Nice. And go over here. And just surf down. Friend who goes to horror cons, they have 24 hour movie cons. Oh my gosh. Okay, Misty. I was expecting you, you pest. Oh my. You may have a lot of Johto Gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Uh huh, sure. More of that epic gym leader music. I literally couldn't do it. Yeah, 24 hours of movies is a little tough. Watch season 1 like a week before season 2 sub was announced. Nice! Yeah, do you use Crunchyroll? I use Crunchyroll sometimes. I actually have a browser that, um,. Eliminates all the ads on Crunchyroll videos, so I don't even need a membership or anything, and I get to watch them start to finish, no breaks. Send out Golduck. Oh, this will be easy enough. Even though Golduck has pretty good special defense, we'll still be able to nail it. Let's try Thunder. Yeah! Big damage, critical hit. Didn't need the critical, I don't think, though. So the first season back in late October, and the season 2 announcement was in early November. Nice! Right on! Oh, Quagsire! Well, that that could be tough. Um, oh, who for Quagsire? Could watch sub, but wanted to wait until dub. That's fair enough. Okay, Spanky, you're going against Quagsire. I know it's kind of foolish, but we're gonna do this. Are you ready, Spanky? Yeah, let's go. But I did get spoiled a bit in February. Ooh, spoiled in February. Do tell. Fire blast. Oh, and the anime is called B Stars. Oh, okay. Haven't heard of that one. Oh, and they're burned. Beautiful. Rain dance. Ooh. At least if they use earthquake, it's not going to be that much damage. 
That's the derpiest Pokemon you've seen in a while. That's right. That's right. That's Quagsire. It's on Netflix. Oh, okay. Like a Netflix original anime or something. There you go. Spanky, no damage against a water ground type. It's beautiful. Lapras. Well, we're going back to Meow Meow for that one. Do you have a Netflix account? I don't have a Netflix account. Well, the dub's on Netflix. Okay. Alright, Lapras. The sub is all over. Okay. Big damage. Come on, one shot this Lapras. I hate these things. Hashtag Team Sub. Subs over dubs. We get to watch first. Oh, dub, you mean. Aw, oh, come on. We watched dub first, but switched to sub. Okay. I can get behind that. Responsible typo, exactly. And the S and the D are so close to each other. <laughs> Alright, Starmie. Prepare to be shocked into oblivion. Army is faster. It's fascinating. Mainly so I know who they're talking about as some names are different. Ah, okay. Gotcha. I know a lot of voice actors, so you try to support them. Gotcha. Okay. Now, I have watched the entirety of Dragon Ball Z in the dub. I have not watched it in sub yet, but I think that's going to be the next one that I do with um, when I do watch it. And I will wind up um, watching that with my daughter when she gets a little bit older. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Spanky knows voice actors. And um, I have to read. I get migraines because of my sensitivity. Ah, I feel it. <laughs> you really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go. It's Cascade Badge. Yeah, I used to go to comms with them. There you go. We received the Cascade Badge. That's number two. Got six more to go. Are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I'm going to travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Uh-huh. Well, now we can walk freely through this gym. You can help train me as I've been practicing voice acting over a year and just struggle a bit. Sounds about right. I would love to get into voice acting. I don't know if I've got enough voices yet, though. <laughs> Woo, you showed me how tough you are. As always, that was one heck of a great battle. USA! 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 Okay, let's see. Vermilion. Yeah, let's just bike there. Let's take the short way. Let's do the underground path. I think the underground path has some interesting music, if I'm not mistaken. Many cities in Johto have long histories. I'd love to visit. There it is. The Mount Moon music. Da -da -da. Already took down these dudes. And we're not going to cut our way over there. We're going to surf our way over there. Oh, of course, we get into a random encounter right off the bat. That's just a tentacle. Oh, my daughter said tentacle today. It was very interesting. <laughs> so you're cheating by swimming? That's right. Switch with wind sign. Definitely the one to take down Mr. Lightning himself, Lieutenant Surge, the eight-foot behemoth of a man. Yo, champ and making, you lucked out this time. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He has traps set out all over the gym, but <laughs> the traps aren't active right now. You'll have no problem getting to Lieutenant Surge. All right, where are the trainers then? Okay, there's one there. Oh, oh I have to fight one of them. Ugh. All right, let's just fight this guy. I'm going to take you down. Prepare to be shocked. I think I know any West Coast voice actors. Aww. <laughs> what? I'm living your dream? Look, someone, I'm... I, I'm an insurance agent. I'm one of those guys. <laughs> I do insurance in my day job. I just want to do better at streaming, that sort of thing, so that way I don't have to do insurance as my day job. I want to have a more relaxed life again. So when I was a barber, oh my gosh, I would have, um, I would have three days off each week. I would have, you were talking about streaming? I figured that. Um, but I'm going to go a little bit into my barber history. So 
when I first started off as a barber, I had Thursday, Sunday, and Monday all off. It was super awesome. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, really. Oh, wait, no. You can set it up with Buddy Brandon. Ooh, there you go, someone. Now you got the in. All courtesy of the Black Doll Barber livestream. <laughs> Another electrode. Is it all just electrodes with this guy? Seems like it's all electrodes. I kind of figured that. <laughs> Should have been a bit more specific. That's fine. Auditioning for Sonic right now. Nice. Yeah, when I was a barber, I would work like 9 to 7. Um, the days that I did work, I had three days off a week at first. It was awesome. Um, the boss and I would partake of some cannabis out back pretty much all through the day. It was sick. Um, <laughs> like, it was super cool. I was so focused on haircuts. <laughs> but then, um, the second place that I was a barber, um, I worked five, six, day six days a week, I think. Five days a week at first, then I worked six days a week when we were down a barber. And there was a period of time I, I had an addiction to cutting hair. I did! It, it's a weird thing. When you really get into it, um, like, it becomes a passion, and you just can't get away from it, because it's like, I can do this better, and I can do this faster, and still do it better. And I would do that over and over again, all throughout the day, because I was doing a lot of the same haircuts over and over again. It was awesome. Um, then everything changed when I cut a piece of a guy's ear off. <laughs> so, um, I'm sure you're going to want to hear that story, but just let me know if you want to hear any details about that story. That was fun. Hey, you little tyke. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. Did he ask for his ear to be cut off, or did you go rogue? Um, it wasn't going rogue. It was a complete and honest accident. Um, it was just me and the guy in the barbershop. Oh, it's just hold off on the playing just for now um and it was just something that happened because I was in a groove and the scissors I was using they were like they were eight inch shears they were like huge and um I was going really fast just trying to get his haircut done as soon as possible because he said he had to be somewhere he was an older gentleman probably in his 70s and on his on the ear, you know, there's like um, a little meaty part that's kind of up above the cartilage. Took a good little strip of that off just in one snip. And it was like a little piece of human meat on my scissors, and I was like, oh no. And this sort of thing happens. We're like trained to handle this sort of thing. And um, how am I slit my throat for his exam? What? Oh my gosh. That's insane. Oh, that trumps my story. Um, anyways, I got the bleeding to stop, and when everything healed up, it didn't even look like there had been a cut on his ear. <laughs> but, slit the throat for his exam. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, that was the shaving. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that's... Saying slit his throat for his exam, slit your throat for his exam, is a little rough. She got his ear back on his head. Well, I didn't even have to reattach it. It was just a little tiny piece of it. Um, I sliced my thumb open from knuckle down to nail, um with a straight razor before. There was blood everywhere. I couldn't even use my right hand for the rest of the day, so everything else was done left-handed. It was insane. Yeah, straight razor shaves. They're dangerous, but when you... First I was like, wait, did you open your neck with a thin, sharp razor? Yeah, exactly. That's what I was thinking. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> um, the best part about straight razor cuts is that their so sh mother's first client was a blind man. She ended up messing up his beard. At least he was blind. Um, <laughs> the straight razor is so sharp that when you do cut somebody, there's almost never a scar because of how sharp those blades are. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. <laughs> now, I never actually slit somebody's neck on accident. Um, I did get people's, like bumps on their lips, that kind of stuff, sometimes a little bit here. Or did he get his, this from last stream? Yeah, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Just a cut on your neck, yep. I bet you don't even have a scar from that, Spanky. Spongebob wouldn't even notice. 
Raichu. Yep, exactly. No scar. I knew it. Oh, quick attack. That was a critical quick attack. That was one bat looking Raichu. And give me some of what he's eating. There you go. And that's another thing. Straight razors, you almost never feel the cut unless it's too deep. That's the coolest thing. I nicked so many people and they never knew, and the bleeding was done by the time the shave was done, so they never knew. The instructor came over so you knew something was up. Yep. But the instructor, I bet, was calm, didn't say anything about it, was just like, no, you need to do this, you need to do this. Just kept an eye on him and made sure he did it right, huh? More earthquakes, there we go. Had a wedding the next day. Oh, yeah. I'm guessing you just couldn't see any of it. There wasn't even a mark or anything. Even, yep, there you go. No scars, no nothing. They heal up super fast. Now, I can't tell you how many times I nicked a kid's ear with the clippers. Um, but kids are crazy. Like, four, five, six year olds. Their cuts heal up, like, so fast. Like, it, it's insane. Like, you'll nick them, and 10 seconds later, no more blood, they aren't bleeding at all. Once you get up to, like, 20 years old, that bleeding lasts for a little bit. When you get somebody who's on blood thinners for whatever, you know, disease they have, you got a bit of a struggle ahead of you to get that bleeding to stop. I had that happen a couple times, and I made some towels really bloody with that. <laughs> Thank goodness we had good washing machines. Oh, double team. Well, that could throw a wrench in the equation. Not enough, though. All right. Light skin and produce a lot of oil, so a lot of barbers want to practice something. That sounds about right. Never had a cut from your haircuts. You are lucky, someone. You are super lucky. I'll tell you that right now. Spilled some of my drink on the side of it. Goodness. Another electrode, alright. Even if they were, they were faint ones, but nothing that needed a napkin. <laughs> Thankfully, they weren't something that actually needed a towel. I, like I said, I've, I've done that to people. It's not a fun day when that happens. But some people, like, they'll let you know, hey, I'm on blood thinners, I want to face shave anyways, and then you can be a little bit more careful with them. Um, it was the same barber you've been going to for years. That helps, too. Most painfully, yeah. When they dreaded everything up, so, I'm guessing it was like the pulling of the hair as they were knotting it all together, and that's just awful. But after it's done, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, kid, you get Thunder Badge. I've never actually seen dreads being put in, let alone a lot of the different, um, uh, different braiding that can happen. They had to pull your hair at the roots. It's, yep. Yep. It's terrible. Seven hours! Oh, that had to be expensive! Thunder Badge increases Pokemon speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You wear it proudly here. Alright. Like four different ways to do it. Okay. 350. Yep. That's pricey. Whew, that was an electrifying bout. Sure made me nervous. Well, like you said, you don't have to do it anymore. You've, uh, since it's done, you don't have to worry about it. It's just the same as it's always been, right? Okay. No healing. Moving on to Celadon. That rhymes. Moving on to Celadon. Any other trainers here? No, no other trainers. All right. Just have to get it touched up every so often. Yeah, they have to kind of redo it a little bit at the bottom as your hair grows out. At the roots, I should say. Okay. I think we have to go through, like, two trainers at least to hit, uh... Erica here. Your hair grows fast. That that sounds about right. Originally somebody who was basically the barber in the street. And she gave haircuts in her garage. She then moved out and her cousin took her place and still cut hair in the garage. But six years ago she got a job at a nearby barber store and still works there. Right on. That's pretty cool. <laughs> this gym is great. Only girls are allowed here. You creep. Get away from this gym. Even the gym guy isn't here. Okay. 
It's gonna be spanky time. Spanky! That's sexist. <laughs> yeah, they, they really should... Oh, gosh, I'm gonna have a lot of battles here. Yeah, they should let anybody be a, you know, actual trainer in the gym here, but no, no, not at all. Hair used to grow a lot when you had short hair, but now since hair grew out, it takes so long. That, I believe, is a perception of just how the hair works. Also, if your hair is longer and you go for a while between cuts, you will have split end, split ends at the end. When you get the split ends, it slows down how fast your hair will grow. Because the last time your hair was short was for your bud's exam. There you go. Um, when you have split ends, it actually reveals what's called the cortex of the hair. That's the dead center of it. Um, once that gets oxygen to it, um, it'll dry out your hair and go all the way down to the root if you don't cut it soon enough. So, generally, four months is about maximum to let anything go for hair. Um, because then it just starts to really get to be a problem in your hair. Like, you'll notice there's more hair coming out in the shower each time. I always go every two weeks, but since the long hair, it'll take around two to four months. Depends if there's anything special you have to go to. Hey, yeah, see, exactly. I had a guy who would get his hair cut every single week at the same time every, I think, Saturday. He was crazy. Crazy awesome. He was a mortician. Probably one of my favorite clients, and I got to know him really well. John the Mortician. Great guy. The stories he had. Oh, my gosh. And he was so awkward around, like, living people. <laughs> he was really awkward. Um, so it took a while to gain his trust, but... He would get, like, a super tight, um, haircut. <laughs> Aren't we all? That's right, Spanky. And he'd have hair that's probably about, like, that long, maybe an inch long on top, just so he could move it over a little bit with styling product. And, um, he would get all the way up to what's called the parietal ridge, which is the, um, the, uh, the widest part of your head. I would fade it down into skin, and then I would straight razor everything underneath there. And it was seamless. It was beautiful. Truly a bald fade. Erica is much, much stronger. I would hope so. She's the leader. Let's see if we only have to fight one of them. Do you think a girl's only gym is rare? Yeah. Yeah, a girl's only gym is really rare. Yeah, we all are a little bit awkward, aren't we? That's how my uncle cut his hair when he was on the forest. Yep, sounds about right. A lot of guys um, who are military would get their hair like that because they didn't have to worry about it for a while. If they couldn't come in for a haircut for a few weeks, it didn't make much difference then. I think I've only had my hair bald faded like three or four times. Um, I wish I did it more, but nah. Again, if we get up to enough um, followers, I'll shave the entire head. <laughs> Just take it all the way down to skin and then shine it up. To blind everybody. Time to use Hop It. All right. Then I'll wear my Pokeball beanie and I'll look like a human Pokeball. It's great. Hop It, you're worthless. Not the eyebrows. I won't do the eyebrows. No, that have to be something special. But I, <laughs> my wife and I are worried that we'd scare my daughter if I took the eyebrows off. Just the hair and beard. Yep. Yep. Just the hair and beard. As you can see, if we don't hit the follower goals for it. Um, I have that donation thing up there, and it's a cumulative thing. If we get up to 100, we'll shave the face. If you wanted to wait until the next milestone, then we can do this and the hair. Do you cut your daughter's hair? I will, but I haven't done it yet. Um, she's two and a half years old. Her hair is long and, like, blonde and red. It's really cool. And do I cut my wife's hair? I have in the past. Um, I used to cut it when it was long and we were strapped for cash. And then at the start of the pandemic, I actually busted down to a number three because she had never done that before. She wanted to reset her hair because there was a lot of really dead ends everywhere. And it was really heavy and she was getting a lot of headaches. So now you're spraying your hair right now. Nice, Spanky. Um, but yeah, we took it all the way down to a number three. She had never had her hair buzzed. And um, it made things a lot easier for her because our daughter couldn't actually grab her hair and pull it anymore. <laughs> Were you looking at these flowers or at me? Oh, I'm sorry, beauty. I wasn't looking at you. Ooh, fun fact. The beauties in this game. In Japan, they had shorter skirts than what they do in the international release. 
man. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> but they're like, ah, it's a little too risque for uh, for everybody else, so let's, let's go ahead and extend those out a little bit. Yeah, I will cut my daughter's hair in the future. Um, I've done a lot of ladies' hair cutting. I, I never do, like, any chemical treatments or anything like that. I wasn't trained for that. I was just trained for cutting. Guys, I have some great news. I finally fixed the pain on my right knee. Nice! I have pain in my right knee. What did you do? Did you take the leg off? Because I figured that's a good way to do it. Oh, Parasect. You're, you're so cool, but so worthless. Don't have a right knee. There you go. I only have wrong knees. <laughs> you rubbed it. Hey, there you go. My pain's a little bit deeper than that. From when I was um, a black belt in karate, I think I actually tore something underneath the kneecap. Um, my friend who's actually going to be doing a stream with me at some point here has been pushed out a little bit. Um, he was in karate with me. You have one wrong knee. There you go. One wrong knee, one right knee. Uh, but my friend, he actually tore his, um, um, the meniscus in his knee. So he has like a hole in his meniscus there. And he used to do basketball and everything, but it came to a screeching halt when that happened. Um, and he did karate for a while after that, but it would cause a lot of pain. How do I feel about becoming ladylike like Erica? Maybe stop, uh, stop asking people about how to be ladylike. That's, that's one way to start. Alright, Erica, let's go. Spanky will burn you. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Celadon Gym. Oh? All the way from Johto? You say? How nice. He ended up like that Irish fighter. How so? Irish fighter? Which one? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. Bring it, Erica. We'll smack you down like we did everybody else. This is like an Irish fighter from UFC or something like that. But, um, when my friend's here, you can actually ask about all of our karate history and everything. I'm sure he'd be willing to answer. We'll probably wind up playing, like, Smash Brothers Melee. We might even bust out the Wii and play some Brawl, too. Um, probably gonna do some, like, Mario Kart on the Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna get my, um, I'm gonna fix my Joy-Con and stop that drift that happens. Bell awesome. Alright, bring it on. Um, but when he's here, definitely ask him all the questions that you could ever want about, um, Conor McGregor reviewed multiple fractures to his left leg. Oh, gosh, received. That's horrible. Yeah, I've never actually fractured anything. I've cracked a lot of stuff, but I've never actually fractured anything. I had cracked ribs before. Um, <laughs> this is a great story. Um, a friend of mine, she and I started karate like within the same month, and we went up through all the belts together. Like We were pacing each other the entire time. It was great. Oh, Solar Beam, that's not that powerful against us. Um, I take that back. That was a critical hit. Um, anyways... We practiced all the time, um, went to the dojo all the time together. Eventually, we got into a sparring match where it was two-on-one. She was one of the two, I was the one who was being attacked by both people at the time. As I was preoccupied with the one guy, I managed to take him, throw him against a wall. I turn, and she's right within my fighting distance. And she throws a punch right into my ribs and cracks two of them. And... <laughs> Oh, it was so painful to breathe after that. The worst part was, her and I were both in the choir together at our high school, and we had a concert the next night. And as I'm struggling to breathe from all the pain, um, I <laughs> should have snapped them off and used them as a weapon. I wish, but they weren't sticking out. <laughs> um, but as I'm struggling to breathe, my choir director's looking at me like, what, what's going on with him? Like, I'm all sweaty and red in the face because it hurts so much, but I'm still singing. And, um... He looks over at her because he knew that we were both in the in karate together, and he points at her. He's like, "Was that you?" And she just started nodding, and she was laughing at me the whole time. And he looks at me, points like, "Ha!" <laughs> it was awesome. Now I'm Arizona. I'm always sweaty and red in the face. That sounds about right. Hey, you should come up here for one of our summers. 
gets pretty muggy. About 90 degrees, but 85% humidity. Mmm. That'll make you sweat. So, Broken Rib is your idea of awesome. No. My idea of awesome is singing with two cracked ribs in a choir performance the next night. Um, other than that, awesome for an injury is um, having my sternum cracked from top to bottom and a blue lightning bolt mark from where the crack is in the cartilage. That's awesome. Or dislocating my pinky toe on one of my students' uh, uniforms. That was fun, too. Um, spraining my wrist as I punched somebody and locked my knuckles on his uh, braces. That was a fun one. <laughs> we had a lot of a lot of crazy injuries that happened in the dojo. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It's Giga Drain. This is the first person to actually give us a TM. All right. Who can we teach Giga Drain to? Ooh, we can give Giga. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Okay, okay, okay. Let's give Giga Drain to Spidey. Can we teach Giga Drain to Spidey? Yes, and Tomozaki! Wait a minute. Wait, wait, a, wait a minute. Now we gotta look at special stats. Hang on. Okay. This is crazy. I didn't think that Zatu could learn Giga Drain. He's not even here. I know! He was here all the time before. I don't, well, he said that he had exams last night, so... I imagine that's why he's not here right now. Or maybe it was two nights ago. He might have school exams going on. Special Attack 125. Special Attack 82. Well, that seals that deal. We're giving Giga Drain to Tomozaki. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I never thought I would teach Giga Drain to a flying type Pokemon. Trying to learn Giga Drain, of course, but Tomozaki can't learn more than four moves. To lead an older move? Why, yes, we will. Um, let's go ahead and. Ooh. I want to keep Confused Ray, so let's get rid of Future Sight. We're going to have Psychic soon, and we'll swap Swift for Psychic. And um, Tomozaki is pretty much just going to be an all out special demon. Um, one of my craziest fights I ever had was actually against the guy who's going to be here um, for my live stream at some point. It was so killer. Like, it was it was amazing. Um, we were fighting all out as hard as we could. Couldn't touch each other. It was the weirdest thing, and it was like... You could imagine it being a choreographed scene, but there was no choreography. We were just both dumbfounded that it actually happened that way. Yo, champ in making. Whoops. Take a good look around you. The trainers all look like the leader, Janine. Which of them is the real Janine? Well, I think I know who the real Janine is. It's not that one who's moving around like that, I don't think. Although it might be. Let's see. Actually, it probably is. Let's try not to meet their gaze at all. There we go. I'm gonna guess that it's actually this Janine here. Okay, who's gonna be up there? We got Poison type. So let's put Spidey up front. Spidey's got Dig, should be good enough. Oh, but yeah, you should ask uh, my friend about it. Aw, this isn't Janine. <laughs> I'm Janine, the gene leader. No, I'm not. Gotcha, sucker. <laughs> okay. So I take a little bit of chance here. Last Alice wants to fight, okay? Bloom? Aww. That's not good for Spidey. I can use Sludge Bomb. Yeah, Spanky's in Arizona. And I'm in Washington. Ah, I don't want to sneeze. My nose is like, ah, you need to sneeze, man! No, I'm not gonna sneeze. Cool? No, no, it's hot there. It's only cool at night there. <laughs> like, Spanky, if you go out at night in Arizona, you have to wear a jacket, right? It's that cold. Even at night, it's not cool? Oh, no! <laughs> 
Oh, someone. Ah, prepare to be shocked by numbers. It's not really that warm at night for us right now. Um, I think it's down in the 50s up here right now. No, we're not changing. Another gloom, we'll just use another sludge bomb. Sludgeth bombeth. 82 an hour ago. Oh. 12.15. Oh, ew, 90 degrees at a little past midnight? Oh. Ugh. Oh. I bet there's very few places there that don't have AC. Heat wave, that's right, wind sign. Classic Pokemon move. Is this Janine? It is Janine. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. Wait, isn't Arizona one hour ahead of California? Only when daylight savings time is not on. I'm the real deal. Janine the Fuchsia Gym. That's me. Bring it on. Yeah, what's up, Windside? Welcome to the stream. You coming in for uh, the halfway point of the boss rush. Yeah, Arizona's lucky. They don't do any of the daylight savings time stuff. It's the same time all year round. All right, Crobat. Um, well, this this could be trouble. Let's use Spider Web. <laughs> I had to learn it in my job. Um, actually, let's send out Wind Sign. I had to learn it in my job because we had to make calls out to Arizona and everything. Um, at least when I was working in the claims side of things and not the auto damage side of things. So I had to know about what time it was going to be when I was calling people. If only the school taught me, I'd learned that. Yep. If only school taught us the important things like taxes and time zones and money laundering and, you know, how to evade, evade those taxes, you know, all, all that good stuff. Instead, they teach you how the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Because in Indiana, we were the only county in the state that did daylight savings time. Oh my gosh. That had to make it awkward when you went somewhere else. <laughs> that was confusing. Leader Janine is about to use Aria Dose. Oh, well, we'll do the mirror match here. Get out there, Spidey. Yeah, Daylight Savings Time. Interesting history behind it. So it was first coined by Benjamin Franklin as an idea to help out farmers. They actually... The reason why it became a standard thing was due to... Um, the train systems. It's because we were on the border of Chicago, a lot of people considered us Illinois. Aha! Um, so... The train systems needed a standardized time system to go by, and because the time would be different whenever they left some place to when they got to a new place, they had to find a way to make sure that the times would all be the same. So, time zones were created. The time zones became a little bit of trouble because, well, you had one place where it'd be like 8 o'clock at night, another place on the other side of the country where it'd be 5 o'clock. And, um, it could be vastly different, you know, times of day, depending on where you were. Um, it, it all came down to a whole thing of the trains needed to run at certain times. By using daylight savings time, it made things a little more organized for them. I don't know all the details. All I know is it's a pain, and I'm I'm wishing that they just abolish daylight savings time altogether because it serves no purpose in today's world. It just makes us have a hard time getting up to go to work. All right, super effective. Oh yeah, she gave a dire hit. Double team. Ugh. Also causes a lot of heart attacks. I bet it does. Waking up being like, oh my gosh, I'm an hour late. Oh yeah, I forgot Venomoth no psychic. Oh no. Oh, there's a psychic. Oh come on, Spidey, don't be the only casualty in the in the run here. I mean, we need a punching bag, but it, it doesn't have to be this way. From that when you were at the facility. Aha. Ah, the gotcha, gotcha. When you were working with the older folks, right? There we go. Venom off down. I'll tell you what, I do love this music. Oh 
Okay, I bet this Weezing is gonna self-destruct. Oh, wind sign. Um, did you see the description I gave for my new video that I posted on YouTube last night? Um, I, I tried to follow everything that you told me, and I hope that it works out. Oh, so some bad news. What's up, someone? Not yet? Okay, cool. Well, when you do, let me know. Throwing off the sleep schedule of elderly people is dangerous. Just got home from work? Fair enough. Uh, it's dangerous. The first week after daylight savings time, cardiac arrest in tears increases by like 5,000% or something. Oh, Ugh! Oh. Just abolish it altogether then. That's just unfortunate. There's no need for it if you're killing old people. There it is. There's the explosion. And it missed. <laughs> Alright, who's the last one? Wheezing. Ah, oh, well, let's use Dig. I wonder if this thing's gonna use explosion too. I mean, it's not any point to doing it. It's almost close to a thousand YouTube notifications, but I stupidly tapped on the notification instead of the search button and ruined the 965 notifications I've gotten since January. Oh no! Second time this has happened. Ah, oh, that's horrible. I don't know if you can mark them as unread on YouTube. That's that's painful. That's so much time. It's kind of like my AOL inbox. I have over 10,000 emails. I'm not gonna read them. Okay, Spidey took care of almost everybody on Janine's team. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's Soul Bash. Take it. I think we get Toxic from her. I hope we get Toxic. It's a nice move to have. If you're so tough, I have a special gift. It's Toxic! There it is. Power Poison. What do you know? Toxic. I'm going to be really, uh, I'm going to really apply myself and improve my skills. I want to become better than both father and you. Uh, your father's already in the Elite Four. Oh, funny, everybody's no longer Janine. First one was in 2020, started in March 2020 and was ended July 2020, after nearly 560 notifications from what you remember. Oh, painful. Okay, so next, we have to go to... Saffron City. Okay. <laughs> the misspelling and then the correction, which also had the misspelling. Alright, Sabrina, I'm coming for you. It's gonna be badge number six out of all the Kanto badges. Alright, talk to me, bro. Yo, champ and making, I'm already the champ, dude. A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you! Aww. Well, for this one, I think we'll put Tomozaki to the front. Use bugs. I know, but the bug moves in this game are terrible. She keeps looking over here. Aww. The power of all those you defeated comes to me! That's rude. Yeah. I wish they had better bug moves in these games. Like, I think, um, I don't even think Mega Horn was a thing in this game. They worked very hard on those. <laughs> no, they didn't. Bug was like, eh, we gotta have insects somewhere. Alright, let's use Fly. I don't think it'll be enough, but I think it'll be worth it. Learn Psychic, I think, next level? I need to look that up real quick. Hypno. Nah, we're not changing. Let me look up when uh, Zatu learns Psychic. Just use another fly. Oh, whatever it was failed, and it wasn't even paying attention. Okay. Psychic at 65! What?! What a waste, I should just use my Psychic TM on Tomozaki. That's, that's absurd. I'm just gonna use the Psychic TM, screw that. Well, not yet, we'll wait until after this gym. Down, down. This way, there we go. Want to learn Psychic, I'd love to learn Psychic. That'd make things a lot easier and a lot more fun. I knew you were coming. Oh, could you hear me? <laughs> Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. 
You're after my badge. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. Since you wish it, I shall show you my psychic powers. You'd bend spoons. I would, um, if I could have a psychic power of any sort, I won't be able to lift things with my mind. You know, move things around, bring the TV remote to myself as I'm sitting there like a lazy potato. Espeon, alright. She's Confuse Ray. Hit it with a blast of Confuse Ray, that's why we have arms. Same man. <laughs> Alright. Oh, sand attack. Oh, you're mean, Espeon. Arms are only used to pick up food. That's right. It is merely a way to get food to your mouth. Well, let's use Swift since we're being sand attacked. Oh, that's good damage. That's amazing damage for Swift. You're not wrong, that's right. It's not very effective. I'm having a flashback. Flashback. <laughs> oh, that was a critical. Oh, that's rare. Well, three Swifts, down goes the Espeon. Let's see, is it gonna be Kadabra, Alakazam, is it gonna be Mr. Mine? What's next? Mr. Mime, there we go. <laughs> alright, alright, Confuse Ray. People having flashbacks to like uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 or something? No. I like how it's just up in that uh up in that corner way over there. Face. Alright. Oh, why did I use Confuse Ray again? Good gosh. Oh, it's Confuse no more! Oh, what do you know? You know what? Confuse Ray now. After this, we'll use Giga Drain. Sandstorm, Dust Storm, you were in. Ah, there you go. Yeah, I think Spanky was hit with a sand attack and cost the match. Don't remember. Oh, no. Okay, let's Giga Drain. Oh, come on. No! Mr. Mine! Stop, please. No, you, you don't have to do this, Mr. Mime. Tomozaki's just a boy. Give me my Giga Drain. Give me my health back, you crazy mime. Yeah. That's not enough, but yeah. I think we'll have four health after this. Maybe one health. Two health, alright. Hit that Giga Drain again. Come on, critical hit would be great. Big damage, big damage, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Aww. That ain't enough. Well, there goes Tomozaki. They fought valiantly. I think it's time for Spanky. Time to put an end to these rubes here. Oh, Reflect faded. Let's use Cut. Spanky the Speedmaster here. Now out comes the Alakazam. Time to put it down. Oh no, we're not changing. If I'm not mistaken, one cut might be able to handle this. Just watched the whole thing on the guy who cheated at the Miami Game Show. I saw that too. That... <laughs> it wasn't necessarily a bunch of cheating, it was just timing. Because at that time, it was all a set pattern. He just learned the timing and managed to hit it every single time. Just get endless money. We're surviving, okay. Well, time to Fire Blast. What game show? I'm, I think it was called Whammy, if I'm not mistaken. I forget the name of the show, really. No, no, not Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's actually a show where, um... Like, there was some trivia stuff, but then there was this board where these lights would go around and there would be squares. Some of them were wham whammy squares, and they would, um, like, you can have three whammies, and then you are out of the game. Your power, it far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible to fully predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself Marsh Badge. Press your luck, that's it. Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. 
Although I failed to accurately predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. Can we dig our way out of here? I want to dig my way out of here. Nope, can't use that here. There was a cheater? Yeah, back um in the original version of the show, it was... um. It wasn't, like, completely randomized. There was a set pattern to how the lights would move. And he just learned that pattern. And he was able to predict exactly where everything was going to be and just started getting heaps of money. That was another fantastic battle. Okay. Okay, now for a little bit of, uh, a little bit of leg work. Or, we should say, wing work. Gotta go to Cinnabar. Then we gotta surf all the way over to the Seafoam Islands, and we're gonna find Blaine alone in a cave there. Someone, it's gonna be your time to shine. Just hear White City. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, come on. I didn't want to fight anybody. I guess it's impossible to swim all the way to Johto. It is impossible. They put up these weird round barrier things that we don't even know the name to. Remember to scream in case. <laughs> there was a contestant who won the prizes right to the exact dollar. Yes! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I saw that. And uh, they s that was shortly after Drew Carey started up on the show. And he thought that he messed up completely and that he was going to get canned. Um, but the guy, like, the way he worked it out, it would have been, like, either $5 plus or minus or somewhere in between. And he managed to nail it right on the head. It was crazy. And it was, it was legitimately luck. But it was a lot of work. Yeah, yeah, he was super worried. That's why he was so, like, oh, well, what do you know? He, he got it directly to the number. And he was so, like, lackadaisical about it. Uh, random encounters. Yeah, Drew Carey was really worried about himself losing his job there, but no, no. There's nothing they could do, and they actually gave him both the showcases like they were supposed to. Picnicker Liz? Hi, Tanya. Oh, you're calling someone. Gosh darn it. She called the wrong number. That's fun. Okay, here's the Seafoam Islands. Where's the one I want to go to? Here it is. That's right, he didn't break any rules at all. He didn't use any cheating, he didn't do anything like that. He just, you know, memorized prices and everything like that, studied prices for that week. And um, he and his wife were doing the same thing, and they just kept applying to get onto the show um, until one of them actually did make it. What does this sign say? Cinnabar Jim, Leader Blaine. But he didn't get his money? He did get his money. He got everything because he didn't cheat. It, it took them a while to validate it all just because, you know, they didn't want to give it away to somebody who had cheated, but still. See, and here's Blaine. Oh. Blaine, you're so sad here by yourself. When you're hot, you're hot. Wah! My gym and Cinnabar burned down. The, my fire-breathing Pokemon and I are homeless because of the volcano. Wah! But I'm back in business as a gym leader here in this cave. If you can beat me, I'll give you a badge. At that point, wouldn't be skill. Yep. Ha! You'd better have Burn Heal. Yeah, it was more skill than anything else, but a skill that most people would never practice before going on the Price is Right. Mag Cargo. The Rock Fire type. Well, I think one waterfall is going to take care of this Mag Cargo for us. Oh yeah, my drink is Mag Cargo blood. <laughs> Another viewer, alright. People are here for the boss rush. I'm sure you watched John Carpenter be the first to win one million on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I did see that segment. Like, I watched that recently, too. That phone call to his father. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know I'm about to win a million dollars on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, that's fantastic, son. <laughs> that's really cool, though. Like, to use your lifeline like that on the very last question... They just floor everybody. Rapid Ash, okay. Here's something fun. Somebody called their dad on the final question. Yep, that's exactly it. I would hope the dad expected him to win. <laughs> Dang, Spanky, you were quicker than me. Yep. 
He'll we'll just surf this Rapidash down. And then it's time for Blue, the real challenge out of the Kanto Gym Leaders. He answered every question, no problem. Yep. I'm sure he took his time to deliberate for the show, just, you know, for ratings and everything like that, but just making it to a million was more than enough to just floor everybody. Great for ratings. Awesome, I've earned out. You've earned Volcano Badge! Received Volcano Badge. Who the heck is in this gym now? I did lose, but I'm going to win the next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar gym, we'll have to have a rematch. Aren't I the strongest? That's right, someone. You are the strongest. Spanky's quickest. Someone's strongest. This guy is crazy. Huh? It's over already? Sorry, sorry. Cinnabar Gym was gone, so I didn't know where to find you. But hey, you're plenty strong, even without my advice. I knew you'd win. No, you didn't. Oh yeah, you can't even go into the other Seafoam Island. They didn't program it into the game. It's weird. Don't quite understand how they managed to do all this. Like, and fail a little bit at it. Okay, to Viridian City to take on Blue. We're gonna use the Pokemon Center. This is the first time we're using the Pokemon Center today. Because we just absolutely have to. Good evening, you're out late. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon the perfect health. Shall we heal your Pokemon? And I think Blue's Pokemon are in the 60s. So we might have to do a couple of shots at this. Ayo, what's up TJ Mad Lad? How you doing tonight? You're here just in time for us to take on the leader Blue of Viridian City. This is going to be a tough one. I don't know if we'll be able to win it the first try. So let's see. Everybody, we gotta believe in the heart of the cards here. No! We're going to battle the leader? Oh, CZY Charles is now Sorry, following. Charles, hey, thanks for the follow. follow. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> I appreciate it. That puts us up to 53. Good luck to you. You'll need it, he says. Lego bricks gym here. Yo, champ and making. How's it going? You're playing Crystal 2, TJ Mad Lad? Nice! Nice! Looks like you're on a roll. Gym Leader is a guy who battled the champion three years ago. Are you playing like a randomizer or anything? Because this is all original hardware on my GameCube. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. Alright. Blue, we're coming for you. Oh gosh, what's his first Pokemon? I forget. I will leave someone out there. Someone's worth it. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the mood at Cinnabar, but now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you've conquered all the gyms in Johto? Exodia. Ha <laughs> ha Johto's gyms must be pretty pathetic then. Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. Ready, Johto champ? This is gonna be tough. I'm telling you right now, this is gonna be a hard one, an uphill battle. And I'm not ashamed to use items in battle, so we're going to exploit that to the fullest. Pidgeot, okay. 56. Oh, so they don't have that much of a level lead. That's okay. Let's, um, let's actually switch Pokemon real quick. I don't really want to deal with that too much. Uh, let's send out Windsign. You can't use items. Oh, no. Okay, Rock Throw. Keep using that wing attack. See how far it gets you, Pidgeot. I wish we had Rock Slide, but I only got Rock Throw. I'd say that's more than enough. Oh, because you're a melee player. There you go. Okay. I think we can do this. We've come a long way to make it to this point. I think it's like episode 18 on my YouTube channel now with this. Oh yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube later, remember to like and favor the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. You know, do the good thing. <laughs> Alright, level 55. About to use Exeggutor. Well, I know who we're switching to. Get out there, Spidey. The only time that Leech Life is going to be effective is against this creature. Psychic Grass type. It's going to be four times super effective. Let's hit it. Big damage. Come on. Show off what you can do, Spidey. Oh, that's that's not enough. That That is not enough. Leech Seed? Ah, that's okay. Well, let's go ahead and use Sludge Bomb. That should do more damage. Maybe we'll even take it down. 
Spidey let us down. That's right, Spidey did. I think they unfortunately had a bad stat roll at the beginning of the game, so they're really not that tough. But they took down Exeggutor! Not a hit on them. About to use Rhydon. Oh, I know who's going out for that one. Get out there, someone. You got this, buddy. Ah, love this music, by the way. Just can't get enough of it. One Surf right on down. The very first Pokemon ever programmed into a Pokemon game, Rhydon, is defeated by one Watery Boy. Hey, level 55. Everybody's leveling up. It's beautiful. Okay, who's next? Alakazam. Ooh, um... As far as I think it's already been one month since I've started watching you. Nice! Nice! I'm happy to hear that. Okay, uh... Um, Tomozaki, there we go. At Spangle and Container Nuts. Has been following Black Bar for two months, 15 days, 23 hours. We're approaching three months for you, Spanky. You've been here since, like, the first week I started streaming. That's right, now you can check someone. He's been following for 17 days. Oh, right, you followed late. I forgot about that. That's right, Spanky is the original. The progenitor. One fly and Alakazam's down. Beautiful. A glass cannon and a half, even though we got a critical hit. Okay, Gyarados. Oh, this looks like the perfect job for Meow Meow. Then when that Arcanine comes out, we're gonna send out Spanky to just brute force it. Alright, Thunder Punch. One should do it. Rain Dance. I should've used Thunder! We've been 100% accurate! Literally every time I check, I'm at 23 hours. <laughs> it's either June 15 or June 16th I first joined. Yep. Yeah, we're just a couple days away from that. Ooh, big experience. Alright, Arcanine, here we go. Let's see if Spanky, our fast fire type, can handle it too. If not, well, we'll, we'll use Hyper Potions to keep you going. I think we can handle this. I honestly thought that blue would be a little bit more powerful than this. But let's smokescreen it. Extreme speed? <laughs> Today's June... Oh, you're right! June 16th! So I'm basically at the one month already. Just followed late. There you go. More smokescreen. Gotta make his accuracy terrible. Mm hmm. Spanky's two and a half. Spanky watched the entirety of the Pokemon Yellow streams when I started those up. Alright, let's cut it. Wow, I'm surprised it's still hitting us. Uh, we're probably going to need to use a potion. Man, I could have taken this down with Windsign very easily. Windsign is more than powerful at it. Spanky, you are OG, but Spanky is true OG. That's right. Puts all other OGs to shame. <laughs> Windsign, yes, you would have been perfect for this, but we already used you in battle. We've got to try and get everybody some experience in this one. Because we're going to need every ounce that we can get against Red. No, 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 no. The rain stopped. Fire Blast, come on. Big damage. Even though it's the same type, we are we're super power. Oh, yeah. Toma joined like one or two streams after you. That's right, someone. <laughs> oh, two fire blasts and RK9 is down. Mmm. Mmm, it's beautiful. First try. What? How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> Alright, here, take this. It's Earth Badge. Wait, I wonder. Hmm. Windsign has been following for two months, 13 days. Windsign is really close in there. 
Alright, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You are a good trainer. But I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Windsign is almost as true OG as Spanky is. Man, you are truly tough. That was a heck of an inspirational battle. It brought tears to my eyes. Aww. Alright. Tomozaki. Blyas. To Pallet Town. We need to talk to Professor Oak. Sir. Prof Professor Oak, Um, I, I, I need to talk to you. So you, Winsign, Spanky, are OG, but Spanky and Winsign are true uh, OGs. That's right. The badges of Jim's in Kanto. Well done. I was right in my assessment of you. Tell you what, Barbara. I'll make arrangements so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big mountain that is home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits. But we can make an exception in your case, Barbara. Go up to Indigo Plateau. You can reach Mount Silver from there. How's your Pokedex coming? It hasn't changed at all. <laughs> Gotta be by two days and 23 hours. That's right. If you were two days late, that'd be bad. Oof. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we can go to Mount Silver if we want to. We'll go ahead and do that. So, we'll go ahead and fly to Viridian City. We're gonna open up the path. Which is really easy, by the way. We're just gonna go this way. Over here, up, over, down, over, up, eh, eh. No encounters, no mankeys. Down, over this way, and up. Here we go, and now we're free to head to Route 28. This is where we get to Mount Silver. Uh, but I'm gonna get the ticket for the Magnet Train, and I forget how to do that. So let's go have a look and see if we can find it. I believe it has something to do with going to Saffron City and talking to the Mimic Girl. I think. The Copycat, I should say. I think she's up here. And up here. Yeah. Hi, did you really lose your Poke doll? You really give me a rail pass if I find it for you? Sure, I'll look for it. You think you lost it when you were in Vermilion? Oh, that's right. Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do? But I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Well, I know where that is. Now we'll ride the magnet train. And we'll go back to Johto just to, you know, spite everybody. Hey. There we go. Vermilion City. Mmm. That, that gym leader boss rush was really satisfying, I gotta say. That was fun. <laughs> oh, this is the Poké Doll. It's a Clefairy, huh? Alright, oh, it's a Clefairy Poké Doll. You. I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one, so I'm making do with the Poké Doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this Poké Doll is sad? Okay, could you take this Poké Doll back to that poor little girl? I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day, no worries. Yeah. So, Dr. Crystal, do you plan to just level us to 100 and use us in Stadium? That's right. That is 100% what I plan on doing. Yeah, we'll do the entire Gym Leader Castle and everything. We'll also try and take down the, um, the Little Cup, because I've never done that before. And if we do that, I think then we'll get the Dodrio Game Boy so we could actually play this game in double speed. Which would be handy for silver or gold later on. Yay, that's my Clefairy Poké Doll! See the tear where the right leg is sewn on? That's proof! Okay, here's a Magnet Train Pass like I promised. Yeah. So what else do you still need to do since you're done with the Gym Leaders, both Johto and Kanto? Well, the last thing we need to do is we need to go into Mount Silver, go to the very top, and we need to take on Red, the champion from the first generation games. And he's some different kind of powerful. Like, his Pikachu is in the 80s, so he's on a whole different level when we actually get to him. Oh, of course we're coming on board. Yeah. Let's ride the train. Listen to the glorious music. So 
Are you going to Rare Candy Abuse the Losers? I will once I, um... Once we go and challenge Red the first time. If we aren't able to take him down with our team as is... We've waited for the chat too long for filing some papers. What's someone talking about? Um, are you talking about the Rare Candy Abuse for Losers? Um, that would be... <laughs> it's easier if I show the Pokemon box. So... If you notice in my bag... I have 35 rare candies. Oh, the true OG! Oh, yeah, they were talking about who um, followed first on the channel. So, Spanky was first, you were second by a couple days, and then someone was later on. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, that's not it. Uh, change box to this one. This box has five, and there's five losers in this box. And I guarantee you, they are losers. look at them, each one is holding an item. What is that item? Well, that item there is a rare candy. Because you and Spanky followed one month before he did, making the true OGs and him the regular OG. That's right. Um, yeah, I'll abuse those losers later on in order to get enough rare candies to get up to level 100, because I can't be bothered to do that much leveling up on my own. Um, wait, why am I going to fly? I need to use the magnet train again. So we'll go right back to Kanto, and then we'll save right in that Route 28 before we get to Mount Silver. And then the next episode of Crystal hopefully will be the finale for Crystal, where we actually go and take on Red and hopefully win. I don't know if we can do it at the levels we're at right now, but there's a possibility we can. I think his Espeon is going to be the real challenge there, though. His Espeon and his Snorlax. We got submission for Snorlax, that wouldn't be too hard. We've arrived in Saffron. We hope to see you again. So let's go ahead and fly. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. There we go. And ride that bike. Yeah, we'll save over here. We'll get ready to go and uh, find Red up in Mount Silver. And I think I remember where it is. I know you're supposed to have Flash when you go in there, but I don't necessarily need Flash to get through the first room. Um, after that first room, it's a pretty straight shot to actually get to Red. So, let's do this. The scream. Ah! Oh, the, we know the sound cancelling on my microphone eliminates that possibility. Well, a semi-scream since it was a wag. Let's see, we might encounter one along the way here. Whoa! It's a Poliwhirl! Oh! That's the closest scream that you're gonna get. <laughs> that was better than before. Yeah, you can actually hear the whole thing. Golbat, ugh, I'll only catch you if you're shiny. It was a bit louder. Good, I'm glad it was. Okay, is there an item over here? I know this path is just crashed to try and get through. Here we go, Silver Cave! We're at the entrance! Oh, another Poliwhirl! <laughs> you know, we could try and take on Red tonight. Mmm, but I've gotta have suspense. Gotta make it worthwhile for the next episode. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe. Do all that good stuff. Keep the algorithm up. <laughs> okay, oh, come on, I wanna get to the Pokemon Center. You just keep me from getting to the Pokemon Center, man. Look at the Battle World! So many Poly Worlds here. And up we go. There we go. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We can heal your Pokemon to perfect health. Shall we heal them? Yes. Thank you for waiting. What's wrong with Poliwhirls? Hmm? What's wrong with Poliwhirls? Hmm? Don't diss my siblings. There's nothing wrong with them. There's just a lot of them. 
Okay, let's see. Let's cut here. And technically, we're supposed to use Flash, but I don't want to use Flash. We can just make it through the first room without it. Alright, who's in this house? Hello, you. Oh dear, you found me. Please don't tell anyone about me. I'll give you this for keeping my secret, please. TM47, which one is this? It's tough being a top celebrity. Everywhere I go, people chase me. I just want to be left alone. Oh boy. Is it Steel Wing or something? It is Steel Wing! Hey, hey, what do you know? Is there anything over here? I forget if there is. There it is. Rare candy, alright! Just what we were looking for! Okay. What if I bet we could top everybody off at level 60 before we even make it up to red with the rare candies that I have right now. But again, that'll be a, a job for future me. No, no, no more polyworlds. Okay. Let's go ahead and get up to the door. Ah! Oh, it's a gold bat. Okay. Run! Run! Okay. So it'll be dark as hell at night in here. Oh, the music, yes. Go ahead and save right now. So, this is where the adventure ends for tonight. Um, thank you all for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, remember to like and favorite and subscribe to you know the channel. Do all the good stuff. The more viewers I have, the more subscribers I have, the more content I can make. So anything helps. Um, Twitch, hang around, I'm still gonna be here after I end the recording. If you're watching on YouTube, down over there in that corner is gonna be a little link to Pokemon Yellow, the entire playthrough I have for it. Um, Spanky was there for the second half of that entire playthrough. I started streaming on Twitch a little bit late. Um, <laughs> but until then, thank you all for watching, and we'll chat at you later.